Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to use the Chimeris Intelligent Search Algorithm in the Thermoscientific Protein Discover software. The Chimeris service is on the cloud, and you need to make sure that you're logged in to the service to use the node in a workflow. Here you can see I am already logged into the service because it's labeled green. But if it's labeled red for you, you need to click on this button, which will take you to a login page. You log into the surface. This turns back green and then make sure you hit apply so that the setting persists. You can also ensure that your connection to the service is working well, is to go to a new utility called the Chimeris Communication Tester, available from the Tools menu. It'll pop up this tool. You can click a button called Test, which runs a quick connection to the service. Now that we verified that we are connected to the service, we can go ahead and create a study or open an existing study, create the workflows for the Chimera search, and then view the results. So I've already created a study here called Chimera's test and imported a data file for which I want to search. The next step is to create a new analysis where we get to choose our workflows to analyze this particular data file. So for Chimeris, I'm actually going to build a workflow from scratch, but you certainly can select one from the common templates. So I'm going to drag a Spectrum Files node, which loads the raw data, Spectrum Selector node, which pulls the MSMS Spectra out from the file, Chimeris Identification node, which submits the data for search on the Chimeris service, and finally, a Percolator node, which is used for the FDR calculation. And of course, I need to connect these nodes together by arrow. So note there's a little blue checkbox. It means there are parameters in the node I still need to set. So here I open the Chimeris identification node. On the left, I need to choose my protein database. In this case, it's a human database. I need to choose the prediction model. This is actually made available from the service itself, and there's only one available prediction model. And I'm happy with the static modification, alkylation, and 20 ppm tolerance. This is high resolution HCD MSMS. I can make this workflow look nicer by clicking on Auto Layout. And next, I need to choose a consensus workflow. In this case, I'm going to choose a common workflow, uh, a basic workflow. And now I'm ready to start the search by dragging in the data file into this Files for Analysis and then clicking the Run button, which will queue up both the processing and consensus steps onto the Run queue. Here I'm showing the run queue after both the processing and consensus workflows have finished. I can either open up the result file by double clicking or clicking the consensus workflow, clicking open results, or I can go back to the study, look at the analysis results tab and double click the result from there. As you can see, the result uh, report shows up here and here's the list of all the PSMs in the data set. If we would like to view any of the annotated spectra in the result, we can open up the fragment match spectrum view like here. You can see here's the experimental spectrum up above with the annotated peaks in that spectrum. And down below, which is a new feature also in Proteum Discover 3.0, is the predicted spectrum for that sequence using the Inferis algorithm. So as you can see, for the fragments that were matched for this peptide, the abundances match quite closely in the experimental and the predicted spectra. Another way we can use this fragment match spectrum view is to view the fragmentation patterns of all the peptides that were identified in the same spectrum. So now I've navigated to the MSMS spectrum info table. I do show associated tables. You can see there are five PSMs associated with that spectrum. So I'll just click, click one. And I can see the predicted spectrum for that one as before. However, if I shift select all five of them at the same time, you can see up above, there's an annotation A, B, C, D, and E. These are the five peptides here. The legend down below says which one is A, B, C, D, and E. And then the predicted spectrum for all five peptides are shown together in the MSMS spectrum. So you'd use this to help validate that the Chimeris result of all the peptides together match the input spectrum as closely as possible. Finally, I'd like to show our 
various different charts that we can use, in particular histogram. So in this case, I'm histogramming the number of PSMs that happen in a given number of MSMS spectra. It's basically histogramming from this MSMS spectrum info table the number of PSMs. So there are about 60,000 spectra with one PSM, close to 40,000 with two. There's about almost 20,000 with three, 7,000 with four PSMs, and so forth, 2,000 with five or more, and even one up to 11. So this shows the power of Chimeras to be able to handle these more complex mixed spectra to increase the number of identifications that you get in any given data set. Thank you very much for your attention.